How to replace the thermal paste in a laptop. At the request of fans, today we're replacing the thermal paste on the Lenovo Legion Art 9000K2021. Let's reduce the CPU temperature by 16.7 degrees Celsius in six simple steps, easily improving your laptop's performance. Tutorials for replacing and upgrading thermal paste on laptops are available in the main tutorial collection on our homepage. You can also comment with your model if you need specific guidance. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Step 1. Get tools ready. Many tools are needed to replace the laptop's thermal paste. Apart from the thermal paste and thermal paste cleaning wipes, some gadgets can help you to disassemble the laptop much more easily. If you don't want to buy them separately, you can find our total solution combo in our profile. Step 2. Remove the laptop case and battery. Before you start disassembling the computer, it's highly recommended to wash your hands or wear gloves or an anti-static wristband to eliminate static electricity. Place the laptop face down. Use a PH00 screwdriver to remove all 10 screws from the bottom cover. Note that the first screws on the bottom differ from the others and should be kept separately. It's advised to use a magnetic mat to avoid mixing or losing screws. To open the case, prepare a triangular pry tool and spudger. Stand the laptop upright and aim for the side seams. Insert the triangular tool into the seam and work along the top and side edges to create a gap. Repeat on the other side, sliding along the body to unfasten the clips. Avoid using excessive force to prevent damage to the case. After opening the bottom cover, prepare two spudges to disconnect the power cable. Use the spudges to push outward on both sides of the connector to remove it. After disconnecting the power, press and hold the power button for 15 seconds to discharge any remaining electricity. Step 3. Remove the heatsink and old thermal paste. Remove the left and right heat shields, each secured by three screws, and place them on the magnetic pad. Next, disconnect the fan power cables. Use the spudges to push outward on the small tabs of the connectors, performing this operation on both sides. Using a PH00 screwdriver, loosen 10 screws on the fans and heatsink, for screws securing the fans, and 6 screws on the heatsink, following the numerical order. Use a high-quality screwdriver, such as the Cooling Monster Combo 01, and apply vertical pressure to prevent stripping the screws. Finally, carefully remove the heat sink. Next, clean off the dried thermal paste. To clean the old thermal paste more efficiently, we recommend using Cooling Monster Clean 01 Thermal Paste Cleaning Wipes. If you're worried about getting your hands dirty, you can use the disposable gloves included in our kit. Here you can see, the thermal paste on the processor has dried up after years of use, reducing its cooling efficiency. It needs timely replacement. Carefully clean off the residual thermal paste from the heat sink. Step 4. Clean the fan. Using a PH00 screwdriver, remove 5 small screws from each fan, for a total of 10 screws, to fully disassemble the fans.
Clean the surface and fan blades with an anti-static brush. Use compressed air to clean tight spaces, which significantly improves cleaning efficiency. When using compressed air, maintain a small distance to avoid spraying liquid. After cleaning the heat sink, proceed to clean the laptop chassis and back cover, as these areas also tend to accumulate dust. Step 5, apply thermal paste. Here we used Cooling Monster Cold 01 High Performance Thermal Paste. Apply an appropriate amount of thermal paste on the surfaces of the CPU and GPU. After applying the thermal paste, you can use the spatula to evenly spread out the thermal paste and remove the excess. You can also use the P-Size method if you like. Step 6, reassemble your laptop. Reattach the fans and tighten the 10 screws on them. Reinstall the heat sink. Begin by reinstalling the removable for screws. Then tighten the six central screws in numerical order to prevent uneven stress. Tighten the screws diagonally to 70% tightness, then fully secure them after all screws are in place to avoid excessive stress. Reconnect the fan power cables. Reinstall the heat shields. Finally, reconnect the power cable. Power on the laptop to check if it's functioning properly. Once confirmed, reattach the back cover and secure it with the 10 screws. Follow and subscribe to Cooling Monster and let us know which laptops to demo this process with next.